hello guys and welcome to dtw tutorials welcome so in today's video i'm going to be taking you through the jam marking scheme okay your english how it is marked that's what's you know what's the point pass pass per uh question you know english has like three uh, section so what are the points each of those questions take your comprehension passage you know and everything and also you know your your other three subjects you know english is compulsory you have other three subjects what how what is this a, a question what mark does it take okay so that's what i'm going to be taking you through the jam marking scheme okay and you should note that the total questions when you add all this in your jam is 180 Okay, and the time, the total time allocated to your jam exam is 120 minutes, okay, which is two hours. So for each question, you have 40 seconds to answer. When you divide this, all right, you have just what? 40 seconds to answer. All right, when you convert this to seconds and divide it by what uh, it, you see that you just have 40 seconds to answer them. So it's very important, you know, I keep on hitting uh you know hitting this nail please get a jam cbt practice app and you can get the dtw jam cbt practice app it's you have downloaded freely on google play store you know check it out before you know you activate it costs uh three thousand naira to activate okay and it's all for your all your subjects for science art and commercial okay so uh, a lot of students who ask me what are the features and all that. I have done a video on that. You see it. I think the best Jam CBT app. You see it has a lot of features. The, your life changer novel is there. Um, question search in any topic, in, in any subject, you can search for a topic and it brings out questions on it. You know, it's lovely the way the Jam interface is. That is the way it is designed. So I encourage you to get the DTW Jam CBT app to help you practice. I, I also encourage people when you are practicing try to practice instead of using the two hours practice for 90 minutes let your let your timer get used to 90 minutes so you have 30 minutes to go back through your work don't worry i'm i think let me know quick let me know uh emphasize on this i'll do another video to explain how you can manage your time okay that'll be another video so let me quickly just take you through the marking scheme all right so this is it so now what is the mark for english let us go through the English section. Now, for the comprehension passages, please, it is carries three marks. It's, it's very heavy, okay? So, please, make sure you learn comprehension, how to answer, all right? Because once you're losing it, you're losing a very high mark, all right? For your registers, each of the questions carry two marks, all right? So, when you multiply, you can see three times five. For comprehension passages, you get like five questions. So it gives you 15. This gives you 20. Then you're reading text. Each carries one mark. Okay. So um, which other one again? This is section A. Then for section B. All right. Your section B, look at what we have. Sentence interpretation. It carries two marks. Okay. Antonyms. Please know this. Antonyms carry two marks. I've done a lot of videos. you see them on you know the short the one minute videos antonyms can confuse you you can easily fail antonyms so please go through those videos and i think i've taught techniques of how to get this so two marks all right synonyms one mark basic grammar questions you have what 10 questions and it carries what two marks each okay that's for section b now let us see um section let us see so for the section C, you have what, you know, this is where you have the vowels. You have, you can see vowels, two questions, one mark, each consonant, the rhymes, your word stress, they all carry one mark. Okay, em emphatic stress, one mark. All right, so now this is at the sum total of your use of English. So you can see section A carries a total of 45 marks, section B, 45, section C, 10 marks. Okay, and when you add all this, it gives you what, 100. So this is how for English, you know, JAM has four. You take four subjects. Each of them is 100. So I've just broken down how English is marked at 100. Now, let's go to the um, your other three subjects. How is it marked? What is the, uh, you know, the score assigned to each of them? Now, look at this now. So for your other three subjects, okay, each has 40 questions, all right? Each of the mark, each question carries the same mark, which is 2.5. All right. So when you multiply this 2.5 times 40, it gives you 100. So here, so your other three UTM subjects carry what? 300 marks. 
All right. So where you have 40 times this, 40 times this, 40 times this gives you 300. Then when you add your compulsory subject, which is English, it gives you now a total of 400. So this is the marking scheme. All right. This is the jam what marking scheme. This is how I've broken it down for you to understand. All right. To take this exam seriously. Okay. I, I encourage you to do your best. Okay, I, I've explained, I don't want to start explaining again in this video. Please, 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 if you're just starting to read now, just get the CBT app and practice from there. Okay, you can join our online classes. It's also going to help you. Okay, and um, you, I'll leave the links, all my links you're going to see in the link three, my bio description, that's the profile bio or in the video description box of this video. Okay, so this is, a lot of students have been asking me, how does jam mark this, that, and all. Okay, so this is how it is broken down. You are destined to win. Please, don't look down on yourself. You can make it. You are destined to win. You know, the meaning of DTW is destined to win. Most students ask me, destined to win tutorial. So you are destined to win. Okay, pick up that book today and start studying. You can do it. You are blessed. Okay. And I will leave you with this note that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth and he's the life. And he's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last and give you that peace, give you success in whichever area of your life. So please accept him today. Okay. And um, do make sure that, you know, you just leave your old ways. You know those ways. Live and come to him. It will make you new. All right, he's going to make you a new creature, okay? That's what Jesus is going to do for you. All right, so please accept him today. And you can comment in the comment section that I am destined to win. You can do that and uh, just believe in yourself. And, you know, I always tell people, don't close your mouth, okay? Yes, maybe your family, people have spoken down on you. Even maybe your parents, forgive them. I've spoken down on you saying you can't make it, non entity, whatever. Forgive them. And you now start speaking life to yourself. I can make it. I am dead. Don't close your mouth. Ah, this world, the word of God says, it's the violence that make it rich. You have to be violent about your destiny. You have to open your mouth and speak. Violence means spiritual, not physical violence. Okay? So open your mouth and speak the word of God upon your life. Okay, I am the head and never the tail. Speak it. I am destined to win. I will make it in this forthcoming jam, jam exam. Okay, you are blessed and see you in our next video. Yeah, I also forgot to add. Let me just quickly pray for you. I pray for wisdom, knowledge, understanding upon you. I pray for grace. I pray for speed on you like never before. Assimilation like never before. As you open your book now, open your practice app understanding like never before i pray upon you in the name of jesus magnetic brain retentive memory in the name of jesus i pray for strength upon you anyone who is sick and struggling i pray for the strength of god upon you to study for your exam in jesus name i pray amen